Hello everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies and today is Monday. We are getting set to pack a lot. Well, let's put it this way. There was a lot packed and we got to pack some more. So I figured I'd show you a few of the sales in the weekend and we'll see if we can get these out in time well a little bit of a get out in time i hope but that being said let's take a look okay so these here actually these two sold on amazon which is my bread and butter on walmart um that's another walmart order there uh these i make a whopping two dollars and eighty cents per box it's a whopping two dollars and eighty cents per box now the thing about it is i sell fifty to a hundred every single day anywhere between there and above this weekend was a little anomaly we shall say a little craziness going on over there in walmart a Walmart fulfilled item that I have, we sold 191 of them. We make $10 per item sold, and 191 will net us. Oh, look at this. I don't know if this is going to fit. Look at that. It's like magic. Actually, got room to spare this let's uh let's do it that way hopefully it stays under two pounds so 191 sales on that one item that is fulfilled by walmart we get 1900 dollars after fees and cost of goods which for one weekend is very good and that's just that one item the items over here we sold a hundred and I think it's 23 yeah 123 of these so it let's just say three dollars is a little above what I make but 123 times three 360 and they're so easy to pack so so easy okay that there was five AC filters that we sold on Amazon one one customer obviously because it's in one box um, 1799 each I think it was like 87 something total 79 something 87 70 one of those two whatever 17 times uh, 18 times uh, five is is uh 90 so 89 okay so that's that one this should stay under two pounds i hope okay we're gonna pack this later sold this stereo which is unbelievable this stereo sold for 90 dollars plus 19 dollars shipping on mr ebay what's amazing about this stereo is i have tons of stereo well not tons anymore I probably have like another eight to ten stereos to go and they've been in my locker for a year or two and this one sells overnight go figure it has the remote and that okay now next up we have these little Star Wars figures got these on clearance at Walmart probably a year and a half ago for one dollar and that one sold on Walmart for $14.99. So take out shipping, which should be, I'm hoping, under eight ounces. And we'll make somewhere around six to seven dollars. So fits in this eight by five by three grab just a little bit don't want to add much weight to this 
Like I said, hopefully that stays under eight ounces. If not, we're gonna have a problem because then it's gonna cost me four dollars and eighty-eight cents and up to ship this little bugger. So not so bad there. Can you see that? You can see that, right? You can see that. You see that? They're the same thing. The same exact thing. Okay? For me, I'm a part-time reseller, right? Full-time resellers who basically rely on garage sales and, and estate sales need to start learning how to do this stuff. This is so easy. They're brand spanking new. They are five dollars I sell them for and I could actually go higher if I wanted to if I really really wanted to I could push the envelope on this one all the way up to and believe it or not people have sold this for a little bit over $41 for the two okay now I could easily push this to $34.99 and sell them at the same rate I am right now but um, my major concern is when you get this in the mail and you look at this, does it have that value? You know what I'm saying? Like these are hard to find. They're, they are. They're pretty hard to find. Okay. But I find them on the regular at my uh, couple of grocery stores here. And these two here, I sell for $29.99. Okay. Now, after fees and everything else, we're looking at around ten to eleven dollars per sale. Um, so again, these are quantity gains. But you know how simple this is. I don't even have to go to my grocery store to get this. I can order it online and have it sent to my house, just like I do with these. These I don't I don't source these at all. Well, I do. I go online. I just placed an order, as a matter of fact, again today go online, have them sent to my house, some of them get to sent to Walmart Fulfillment, some of them I fulfill myself, uh, with the price changes coming up with uh, USPS, these will probably all go to Walmart now, because a package like this is $4.45 for them to fulfill. For me, the highest cost to ship this is $4.44, and as low as, lately it's been like, I think the lowest I've seen is like three ninety something. More on the average of four dollars and twenty cents though to ship these. The winner is when people buy multiple. So as soon as they start to get the multiples, and I've had people buy as many as twenty of these at a time, um, that's when the profit margin starts to go rocketing. Okay, because realistically you buy two of these instead of making two dollars now I'm making closer to ten um, and then keep on multiplying that out and you get the, you get the idea because I could fit there's one in here I could fit three of these items in one of these boxes actually and stay under a pound um, and then anything above that eight by five by three goes cubic I think I could fit six in here so figure eight dollars ish to ship if not Worst case scenario, I throw in a padded flat rate because this fits in a padded flat rate, and I will ship it out that way. So these are like gold, and every time I see them go in stock, we get them. Now, the funny thing is, one of my grocery stores online said something to the effect of "many available," not a number, just "many available." So I ordered what I thought was many. Well, when it got here, it wasn't as many as I was hoping for. So, just be careful with that. Fits perfectly in this 8x5x3. Five, five by and we will ship this out. So, the weekend, which I don't count Friday sales, because Friday I ship out Saturday. For the weekend, we did just over seven thousand dollars in sales. 
which is a very good weekend. Very, very good. Um, on average, we're between three to four thousand. So to punch out seven is a really nice number. Um, and a lot could do with the holidays coming up and what I sell. Um, but that being said, you never know. You know, I mean, this could dry up on me tomorrow. So that's why I'm a little secretive about what I sell here and what I sell on Walmart in general. This was sold on Walmart though. And so is this. This uh, I better write down that this is Star Wars. All right, we're gonna pack this thing up in a minute. Okay, we're back. Got a couple more sales. Let's get them packed up and out of here. That should be, uh, yeah, let's put that in there and that in here. All right, let's see. How to do, I want these not fit in there. Not fit in there. Maybe. Maybe, but then again, maybe not. Definitely not that one. If not that one, then we should be able to. Yeah. Okay. All right, good stuff. All right, so, pick these up with all my vintage action figures, Batman. Batman versus three villain villains of doom and Batman versus the penguin uh, Total sale for this they are Not in horrible shape, but they're not in great shape either Total sale for this was thirty dollars plus three fifty shipping or twenty nine ninety nine plus three fifty shipping I don't know if I could fit them all in this little bag. Let's see gonna be close so close and it looks like you're gonna fit all right so anytime I send like media where it's got decent value I always like to wrap it just in case it gets wet I don't think this is gonna fit. no let's go to an 8 by 5 by 3 for that now you can draw the line on whether you ship it media mail or first class. For me, anything over like $25 or higher, I'll normally send it out first class to get it there a little bit quicker. Uh, especially like records and stuff. I don't want them bouncing around in somebody's truck forever. So those fit rather nicely in here. Give it a little fluff. That done and that one ready to fly out the door. Not too bad. Okay, next are these bullet dies. Uh Lyman, Lehman, these things here. I bought these under the state sale. I spent seventy five dollars for everything. I sold one item that got me my money back. Now it's all just selling off all these dies that I have. So this sold for $59.99 and $5.49 shipping. Since the other one didn't work out so well, we'll put this in here. And then we'll get ourselves a sticker. I put a sticker on everything. I think there's a certain size you need to do it on, but I don't know that size, so I put it on every one. Okay. All right, that, hold that there. Get a little box out. Six by four by four. Ten inch piece of tape. Slap it on there real quick. Put our item inside the box. Now we're going to have to use a metal. 
but you don't want them flapping around in here. It's a flat. It's $59.99, $5.49 shipping. So that works out really well. Okay, I'm gonna go ship these out and we'll be back at this one. And I think there's one more. We'll see. Okay, we have two more packages to get out. Um, the stereo. And we did sell this Emerson TV radio thing. Obviously, the TV, it works, but it doesn't work because there's no air anymore. So you can't really do much with it. But hey, it comes with the power cord. Shows fuzz, but works. Okay. Radio works fine. $35 or $36. It's like $35.69 and $19. 99 shipping, but let's get to the bear. I've been putting this off, and I'm gonna run out of bubble wrap. Yep, perfect. Run out of bubble wrap, so we'll reassess, move that over, and let's do the TV. Let's get that done and over with, and we'll go back to that once we reload some bubble wrap. Must have been one of those short rolls everybody's been talking about. Let's do it this way. I should get us plenty on the sides. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, now, this is a tough box. This is a tough box. I'm not going to have a box, am I? That's 14. That's 14, that's 9, 14, 14, and 9. How about if I pulled out a 14? Oh, I think that's going to work. Going to be super close. 14 by 12 by 12. Will hopefully get us a TV inside. Let's see if we can do this. The multi layer. Multi layer boxes are nice to work with. Okay. First. Lay down some bedding. Get some bedding up in there. And hopefully, my bubble wrap on the sides isn't too much. Whoa. I'm not terribly upset with that. That's not too bad. Okay. Now. Let's see, I could take it down a size, but I'm not going to bother. $20 shipping should be more than covered here. Get some in the front. Get some on the sides. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. ourselves some tape. Let's make it all in there. Boom. That one's done. That's done. That weighs in. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that from there or not. I think so. Let's see the magic. <gasps> Holy schnackies. 10 pounds? What the hell? That's 10 pounds. Well, when I lean against it, it's even more. 9.1, 10 pounds. <whistles> Wasn't expecting that. Let me go find out how much that costs the shit, and I'll be back. <laughs> okay.
we're back so that TV was $14.33 to ship it went to New York we're in Florida so I got the bubble wrap reloaded we're going to get this stereo out the door okay Let's see what we have here. We need 21. I like 16 would be good. 21 by 16. Now, wouldn't it be ideal if I had like the perfect box? That would be ideal. By ordering a lot of boxes, always works out well. This is a 22. Oh, it's going to work out perfectly. This is a 22 by 16. And it's going to fit rather nicely now. The rest of the packages, you saw me put one piece of tape on. But this thing is going to weigh. I don't know. Whoa. It's going to weigh so much, we're going to knock the camera over. This is going to weigh 20 ish pounds, 22, 23, 25, something along those lines. So let's make sure this doesn't go anywhere. So three nice pieces of tape is more than enough. her up in there. Very nice box. But we do have a little bit of room on each side and a little bit of room front to back. Side back. With a little fluff. Man, a couple of years ago I used to ship out seven, eight of these a night. Not anymore. I'm trying to get them all sold. I try not to source them at all. Unless it's like a st stupid buy. And there's only a couple of stereos that actually get me excited about buying them. And one of them would be my holy grail. I found it three or four times, so if I think it's three times, it would be the Sansui 9090 DB. Never paid more than three hundred dollars for one. As a matter of fact, the highest I ever paid was three hundred. I normally paid about a hundred, and those sold for two thousand dollars in minutes. Very hard to find. Okay, let's get a jump down. What the heck? Okay. Try not to sweat on your boxes. Okay. That one there. And one last one. Okay, so this is probably 30. That's gonna be a 30 to 35 hour shipment. That box right there. Okay, so Let's take a look at the weekend in total. Alright, so. Why is it crooked? Mm, okay. okay, so here's the breakdown. It's right here on paper. 
not 100% accurate because my eBay sales, I just rounded off. I think it's a little bit higher, but we'll take it for what it is. Okay, so on Walmart, 191 sold at $30. It's $5,728. On an item I order online, comes to my house, I check the invoice, I keep the invoice, put my tape back on it, put two labels on it, ship it to Walmart. Done. That's all I do. Okay. Next one. Uh, 123 at 979 is 1204. Okay, we make $350 on that ish. Um, if there was duplicates and stuff like that, I just took the total number of sales. Um, if there was duplicates, like the same person bought more than one, we made more money. But at a standard rate of selling 123 of those, if everybody just bought one from me, and that's, I would say, 50 50. Uh, we would make $346. Again, I go online, I order it, it comes to my house, I store it on my shelves, and I put it in those little boxes that you saw earlier. Okay, Amazon. We did $160 in sales. I just started working my Amazon again, so I'm hoping to get that to be about, I'd like to get five to $600 at Amazon per week uh, because of what Walmart does. I don't put everything on Amazon because um, I get more money from Walmart than I do from Amazon. Plus the fees are less. They're less than eBay. Uh, Walmart's fees are less than everybody. Those items I sell is 8% fees. Um, anything over $10 is 15%. But that's why I have them priced where I have them priced because it just doesn't make any sense to try and push that price any higher. So the only thing I didn't do was tally this all up. So I'm going to give you a rough estimate of what sold. So that's, I'm going to say two grand, that's 7,700. Uh, no, that's not right. Hold on. 5,700 and that's 1,200. So 6,900, 7,000, right about $7,500 for the weekend, which is really good. Profit of... Uh, 1910, 346. So we're gonna be at what 2300 ish area there. Let's just say 2300 overall because the Amazon eBay sales, um, yeah, let's just say 2300. So $2,300 for the weekend, um. For a lot that I did nothing. Now sweating now because I'm in my garage. I live in Florida, and I got the garage door closed, and I have the fan off. So I got three things going against me. Plus, we're about to get a tremendous storm. Plus, just come to find out, there's a hurricane heading towards San Juan, and I leave on the Mardi Gras, not next Friday, the Friday after, to go to San Juan, Carnival Mardi Gras. So that being said, that's another thing I wanted to talk about: having fun with some of the money that you make. If you're constantly grinding and, and spending 365 days a year doing this, then there's no fun involved. This will be our second cruise this year already. We're going on another one in December, and we're probably going to book one in uh, September. And we already have uh, cruises booked for next April, next July again, and next October. So enjoy this money. Well, for me, this is all extra money, so I enjoy this money. Um, plus I get very great rates because I gamble on the boat. That being said, it was a really nice weekend. Hopefully you picked up some pointers on this stuff. If you can do this, this will make your life so much easier. I gave you one of my items tonight. To build up a certain niche on items, you can source on the regular, sell on the regular, then every week you should have a good idea. Now it does fluctuate because I have seasonal stuff that my during the uh, fall this will go up and then in the winter it kind of stagnates it doesn't go dead but it gets slower and then it'll pick up again towards the holidays right about this time here and then kind of stay steady throughout the summer drop a little bit in august but then once football season and that type of stuff starts again boom it picks right back up so i have about three or four months of, of slower sales not dead sales slower so you can kind of predict that over time. And as long as nobody gets on these items, you're golden. Trust me on that. See you next time.